Hi there. In this video, we'll learn about the two major parts of the function that is domain and range. Basically, domain is the set of values that are the values of independent variable and range is the set of values that are the values of dependent variable. In this uh, mapping diagram, you can see that domain is depicted on the left hand side and range is depicted on the right hand side. Uh, the various values of domain that is the independent variable are small a, small b, small c and small d. If we use these values, we will get various values of the function that is f of a, f of b, f of c and f of d. So in this way we can get the values of range with the help of values of domain. Numerically speaking, you can write these uh, values, these coordinates like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. Here 1 will determine the value of dependent variable which will be 2. Let us bring the mapping diagram here. 1 is the value in the domain and 2 is the value in the range. So 1 and 2. And 3 is the value of this variable and 4 will be the response of it and then 5 and 6. In this way you can see that we can write the function in this way which is a mapping diagram and it tells us that how each value is determined in the given function. So domain and range can be written as separate sets and you can see that one set is known as domain and the other is known as range. We should also do a numerical example here and in this case this numerical example is an economic situation. Uh, we know that cost of production depends upon the output and here cost of production is again depending upon the daily output. However, there is a constraint on the daily output. Definitely within a firm we can produce a certain number of units. So that upper limit is 100 units. Now the next thing is that uh, we can make a schedule of it and in that schedule Q is determining C that is output is determining cost. Start from the 0 and goes to 100 because we know we can produce no unit or we can produce at maximum 100 units. And these values can be easily found by using this function that we were given simply by putting the values of Q. We have done it here by putting the various values of Q. We have found uh, this uh, table and we can write this in set notation in the description method. As you can see that Q can range from 0 to 100. Consequently, C can range from 150 to 850 as we can see from this table that we developed. And the extreme values then may not necessarily occur because these are extreme values. Mathematically speaking, these values can occur. But when it comes to economic situations, the extreme values are usually rare. So this is the first value that is Q is equal to zero that can give rise to a certain cost of 150. This may not be a very common thing to occur. We can also visualize this diagram which is again uh, made with the help of the same function. Here we have taken a difference of 10 so that we have to plot only 11 values instead of uh, 100 or 101 values. And that can allow us to make this graph where output is determining the level of cost. And this is the equation that we just used. And there is a straight relationship that is a straight line exists here a positive relationship as the output increases the cost will also increase. So in this way we can see that um, mapping can be done of a function and there is a domain and a range and uh, domain gives rise to range. Here there was an economic example of it as well in, in addition to these uh, mathematical examples. So this is how we do this analysis of a function with the help of distinction between domain and range. Thank you.